No, I actually don't have a card for this uh, bonus episode, so I'll just click the button and say this. Hello guys, what is up? I am Lee, I'm number 121, and welcome to the bonus episode to my playthrough of Clax for the Game Boy. Last time, we cleared out the final 10 waves of this game and finally put this game to rest. And of course, someone got 20 bucks, but that will be revealed at the end of the episode. For now, it's time I reveal not only the secret warp um, to this game, but also some tips and tricks I can give you guys if you're planning to pick this uh, game up uh, for your own pleasure. Or for your own time, I guess. If you guys are hyped for the bonus episode of this playthrough, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe for more content if you're new. I have a ton of stuff coming up, including a new Let's Play coming up next Tuesday that's going to replace this uh, game. And ring that bell to get notified any time I look on this channel. The last episode, which was the finale on the card, top right. Anyways, to access the secret warp, you need to. It only is accessible through wave 6 or wave 11. I'm going to do wave 6 uh, uh, to show it straight. Make a big X on this wave for a secret warp. The best way to do this is literally making four uh, um, like matches together. So I'm going to find four pairs to start us out. Yeah, that didn't really go as planned. Uh, there we go. And I have this thing right here. Thing for that works. I'm trying to hope for the correct pile while also matching to make sure I don't top out. Okay, that's the first one I need. Ah, there we go. There is our X. And after you clear the X, you get 600,000 points, 700,000 if you were playing Wave 11. And when you get the secret X on Wave 6, you teleport to Wave 51. If you get the X on Wave 11, you get teleported to the Wave 65. Funny thing, by the way, I only just found out uh, from re recording this because this is a second re re recording of the bonus episode. Because honestly, I wasn't too satisfied with the first episode. Or at least the first recording of the episode uh, uh, at first. Now for some tips and tricks. And that is, well, for each kind of wave. Because there are five different kinds of waves as we have seen from this uh, playthrough. Clax wave, where you have to clear some number of claxes like this. Diagonals, clearing number of tiles, horizontal claxes, and of course the points. And I actually have a tip for each of the um, different waves, which I'll demonstrate um, in due time. So, whenever I get, well, that's a lot of uh, wild cards. And whenever I get a chance to make like combinations like this, where, well, where I'm able to make multiple clacks using one wall card, I tried my best to, well, set up for that. So right here, this is one example. Uh, that works. Yeah, this one, I don't really need to use a wall card because I can just do this. Okay, this might be a good example here. There we go. There we go. So you can see right here, I made three matches at once. Trying to... Make multiple clacks at the same time. Another tip is that when it comes to getting the tiles, there is a way that I've... a uh, method I've developed to allow you to get um, tiles even when they're far away. So... It's a little bit hard to demonstrate. I need to get... let the game be rude to me, so to speak. Ah, right here. My tip is, once you hear that sound, that is when you move your paddle to get the next tile. So right here, watch this. Look at that. I barely get it by a, probably like a frame. And I still got the tile. It does take a bit of practice to try and get that sweet spot of pressing, uh, moving the paddle as soon as you hear the beep. But as I said before, it takes practice. So don't be too down on yourself if you can't get it first try. And trust me, as someone who's played this game for many years, I have the experience. It's not easy all the more. And remember, when you make a clash, you see that the screen completely freezes. That can give you some ample time as well to, well, save yourself from a drop. There we go. So there's my first tip. 
for um, uh, for clax uh, waves. The next uh, tip I'm gonna give is for diagonal waves. Now, the way I grab these um, diagonal waves, uh, sorry, diagonal waves, diagonal claxes is actually simple. I try to find a pair right out of the gate, like that, and immediately set up for it. Same thing goes for the other side, because I can make two diagonals at once if I get a ball card, or I can just set up for another uh, clax if this happens right here. Uh, this is a bit awkward. Okay, there we go. So you can see right there, I got two diagonals straight away because the game gave me uh, the right tiles. Okay, I didn't want to risk that. That's fine by me. Boom. Now, that tile right there, or that, uh, those, that uh, orb tile, I'm not sure how to call it, that's actually a bit of a vulnerable spot. When it comes to making a diagonal wa waves, there are diagonal waves, diagonal claxes, there are two spots that are the most vulnerable. And it's right, hang on, I'm gonna... I'm gonna pause the game by clicking on the emulator and demonstrate that this tile right here and this tile right here, those spots are the most vulnerable when it comes to diagonal clacks. That's because they block most of the area to make diagonal clacks. A little bit hard to explain, but basically, I'm gonna play one handed basically. You have a situation where if I place a tile, random tile that's not matching, I block like two opportunities to make a clax, basically. So I wouldn't recommend placing that placing a tile here unless you have a match like this. That's the only time that you would place a tile in that area. Now when it comes to like multiple like diagonal clax at once, which I already have to set up right here, do you think ahead. So I'm gonna place this uh wavy tile here and you can see I've set up myself another um, diagonal clax. However, my tip to you guys, if you're still new, try not to be too fancy with it, because there is a possibility where the game does not give you the tile that you want, as you'll see here, and basically you top out in, in the end because you kept getting tiles that you don't want. So experiment how much is your limit before you attempt such uh, um, tricky builds. Another tip is that, especially with these kind of waves, that was close. Um, try not to press the up button too much. As you saw from a few times from this playthrough, I had gone screwed over by the game giving me a tile as soon as I pressed the button to send a tile back up. And it can be very annoying at times when it happens repeatedly. So my tip is to probably press the up button when you n don't see any tile coming. Usually I will press the up button when a tile just appeared, basically. Because there's very there's a very low chance for the game to spawn another tile after it spawned the tile. If that makes sense. So I already have four diagonal setups I can do. I get a tile right away. And if I can get a wall card, that'd be nice. Oh, never mind. Done. So there we go. That's my tip my tip for clearing um for clearing diagonal waves. Now for the tile wave. And honestly, as you saw from the playthrough, this was the hardest type of way to get through. I think I filled three of these uh, throughout the playthrough, if I'm not mistaken. But I actually have a way, a, a way of trying to alleviate it, and that is getting lucky. Yeah, I'm not capping. Getting lucky. The reason why I say that is that sometimes when you have set the, when you have um, tile arrangements like this, where the game already places tiles for you, it does get tricky to find the right tiles to place onto the playing uh, field such that you don't top out. Sometimes the game doesn't want to be nice to you and it keeps giving you tiles that don't match what's already on the playing field and you top up because of it. Trust me, it can get very frustrating this uh, mode when the game continuously gives you bad um, tiles. So honestly, do not feel bad in yourself if you keep failing these because trust me, I've had plenty of time where uh, my playing days where I keep failing this kind of wave and I get very frustrated. I think wave 13 was actually a particularly harder one for me when I was a kid as well. So it's kind of um, serendipitous that I that, that was the very first wave I failed in the Let's Play. But eh, I digress. As what the game hinted by when during the um, like the wave objective screens, 
Vertic sometimes verticals are best, and honestly, I cannot disagree with that statement. By making vertical waves, you save a lot of space, basically. And you don't find yourself getting, like, trapped. In making, like, very fancy setups just to clear tiles. Now, the reason why I'm not heeding to that is the fact that I'm, I am confident in terms of making outlandish setups like that to, well, save space. But if you're new to this game, I recommend just regularly making, um, like, verticals like this to save yourself. Especially if you have, like, maybe 40 tiles left, I would say. If you have 40 tiles left to go, I would say verticals is the best uh, approach to clearing this kind of wave. Also, wow, well, I have... Five, um, a wild card on the playing field. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, that's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of uh, wild cards they give me. Usually, they don't give as much, so that's actually quite weird. Now, would I try and aim for, like, the like, tile bonus at the end? Uh, not really unless you are risky, like this. Because I now know that I already can clear the wave without even needing to place another tile, so I just did that. The next tip is for points waves. Now, my method for these kind of waves is quite consistent, as you might have noticed throughout the game. And I'm going to demonstrate it right here. Right at the gate, I try to find pairs again. Um, because I want to make diagonal waves, uh, diagonal waves, diagonal claxes, like this. I'm gonna do this because I already had a setup right there. Um, okay, that works. Hmm. Okay, I guess that works. I just have to get the right tiles afterwards. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that's kind of what I wanted, honestly. Because I want to clear this striped um, tile. And voila. There we go. That's four claxes I can make with one wild card. About to be five, actually, which I'm going to showcase right here. Oh, I can even extend. Look at this. Right there. Bam. Now, recommended, I would say, that you have a wild card with you. Because you can see right there, I actually kind of screwed myself by making such an outlandish like setup. And it does- it will take a bit for me to clear up the mess. In fact, you see right there that it, uh, it falls apart if you're not careful. So I'm gonna instead top out. And to showcase what I uh, truly mean. Eh. Actually, uh, funny thing, on the first recording I didn't have much trouble like this. So, oops. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's not bad. There we go, that's two already. There we go. Okay. And also another recommendation is place a wild card on the bottom of your paddle, just so you have free roam of your rest of the tiles. So you don't find yourself in a position where you get a wild card, and the tile below it is what you want to place next, and you basically are stumped on what to do next, basically. Okay, that's not bad. So I'm gonna place this right here. That means five clacks I can make with one wild card. In fact, by doing this, bam, I cleared the level straight away. It's kind of like making an asterisk on the playing field, or at least close to an asterisk on the playing field to quickly get you through the game. Also, look at that. One, two, three, four, five, zero. I didn't even mean for to, to do that. But in all seriousness, um, the way that the game calculates the score, if I'm not mistaken, is that they add up all the classes together in terms of like the base score, and then multiply by the number of classes that you made. So I believe that was one, two, three, four classes that I made because it was one five horizontal, one three. Wait, one five horizontal, one one three vertical, and two four vertical, uh, four diagonals. So if you do the math, that is how they do uh, calculate the score. And now for the final wave, which is the horizontal wave. Now this one might be daunting at first, but honestly, it's not that bad if you follow this method. And that is literally making a hole in the middle and matching um, pairs whenever you see them, like this. Now not every pair that you get 
has to be a horizontal. If you find yourself having running out of space, make verticals. Verticals will at least save you space and still set, allow you to set up for a clever horizontal above it if you're able to get the right tiles. So right here, I just do this and I can clear out those uh, horizontals, uh, verticals later if I get the right tile that is. Uh, there we go. Right there. For horizontal right there after a combo. So that's how I would recommend making horizontal clacks effectively. And if you're finding yourself that the plane feels a bit messy, just clear horizontal uh, vertical clacks until you find a comfortable spot. You need not always have to make horizontal clacks. You gotta remember that. Ah, I made a mistake there. I should have made the four ver uh, diagonal. Well, that's fine. Okay, so play feels slightly messy, so I'm gonna try and clear hearts up oh, sorry, vertical class before I decide to make another one. Okay, that looks fine. There we go. So I wanna. Okay, this is a little bit awkward. Ah. There we go. And there's another cell right there. I know I sacrificed a line uh, tile there, but it's fine. Uh, it's giving me a lot of uh, wild cards. I don't know how to feel about that. I'll be perfectly honest with you guys. Oh, that was close. Now, I'll admit that not all the method that I taught you guys in terms of like grabbing tiles before they drop may not always be foolproof. Sometimes there are situations where you really just can't grab a tile because of how of the speed of the game. It's almost like Tetris, you could say. Like you just get what you get, and you have to just adapt to it. Uh, oh, well, that was a mistake. I forgot I had too many tiles on hand. That was close. Okay, again, a bit messy board, so I'm gonna do this. Do that. Mm. It's a bit awkward right here, I don't see what I'm trying to do. But I guess I can make a die called Classic Crafts of Space. And then make a playing, flat playing field to continuously make more horizontals while I'm at it. While also finding opportunities to do, well, clear up my field, basically. Bam! And just one more clacks, and I'm done. Ta-da! So even in such a precarious situation, there is still room for you to, well, get the job done, even though it seems impossible. So yeah, that's my tip for horizontal clacks, and that's pretty much all I can say in terms of tips and tricks to play this game. If you do plan on picking it up, I'll just say this right now, it is a um, good time waster. It's so fu it's very fun and very challenging at that. Um, I did not showcase the 4 and 5 drops. In fact, you know what, I'll just play a 5 drop for you guys since I did not even show the 5 drop right there. But this is how the 5 drop looks like when it comes to, well, having a lot more room to mess up, basically. And that's it. And if you're wondering, that's the pause button. That's it. That's just pause. That's it. There's an exclamation mark uh, for cool effect. And a nice sound effect as well. Look. That's, that's ear pleasing. Anyways, on this pause button, this is where I'll say, that's it. That's it for my playthrough of Clax. I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough uh, as much as I had. Honestly, it's been fun playing this game again, let alone actually finally completing it for the first time. But honestly, I'll admit, it's been a little bit tricky trying to record. Episodes 7 and 9 were recorded on one full sweep, and I will admit, I was nervous throughout the entire recording session. And I was kind of hesitant to record the final episode because I know not only was I going to finish the playthrough, but, but also that the waves were going to be very hard. So honestly, I was just glad to finally put this uh, game finally to rest, but also I kind of sat to see it go.
But who knows? Maybe one of these days I might try to speedrun this game. Because honestly, I find this game to be somewhat speedrunnable, if that's a term. Anyways, with that, thank you guys so much for watching this Let's Play. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. This is We Have It One Two One signing out. And I'll catch you guys on my next Let's Play. Peace. Oh, wait. You thought I was done, uh, was I? Nah. It's time to reveal the winner of the Clax giveaway. Hello? Hello? Uh, hello? Are you feeling fine, Patrick? Okay, now can you hear me? Yeah, what happened there? Um, decent. Oh, you mean all oh, the thing? Okay. Well. Yeah, well I... What do you want to say? Uh, no, I just want to make uh make you feel better. I mean, I'm not sure if you're feeling like down or anything. No, no, I'm not. You're not. Well, at least that's good to hear you're feeling fine. But also, mm, I want nice. you to check your DMs. Hmm. What's that? You just won twenty dollars in Steam card. Oh, <laughs> wait, you. So wait. <laughs> You are you are officially the winner of my first ever giveaway on my channel, yeah. the Clax giveaway. I finished Clax hundred percent in just six retries. That's and to be fair, to be fair, <laughs> knowing knowing you, your skill level, yeah, and I'm, not, I'm not surprised that it's like under ten. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, I was honestly surprised with the last few waves. You, you'll see it in the playthrough once that comes up. But yeah. I you're... mean, <laughs> at, 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 at this point, I know you got two mistakes. That's about it. Two mistakes, yeah. But I was wondering, at the time I'm recording this uh, right now, I only I think episode 5 came up, I believe, and I only had two retries thus far. <laughs> oh, 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 man. But yeah, congratulations, Patrick. Hey, thanks, man. Anything you want to say to end off the video? <laughs> Um, stay in school. <laughs> stay in school. <laughs> All right. Bye bye. Bye.